Welcome to the main Sanskrit writing practice. Today we will look at the answer for question number 23 that I have given you yesterday. So friends, yesterday I gave you the question from General Studies paper 4. It's a 10 marks question. Ideally you have to write in 150 words. So you can take around 7 minutes and you can write the answer for almost one and a half pages to two pages. So these type of questions are common in ethics exam. So where they will give you a quotation and they would ask you to uh, explain what do you mean by the statement? What do you mean by it? Not, not what the person who has told the quotation means by it. So you can write whatever you understand from that. And then in the present context, what is the importance of this quotation? So this quotation is given by Bodhi Dharma. If you know that, you can write that. Otherwise, you can just leave it. It's not required. They will not give marks for writing who wrote, who gave the quotation. They will give marks only for what do you mean by it and what is the importance in the present context. So friends, generally, in these kind of quotations, if there are any difficult words, if it has got some words, I would suggest you to explain, explain the meaning of those words as introduction. In the introduction, you can just write the meanings of two or three words given in the quotation and then you can write what you mean by that. So we would start with uh, talking about ignorance. See ignorant means lack of knowledge or lack of awareness. Affliction means you know the state of being in the pain, having the pain in the mind. Passion is a strong emotion that cannot be controlled. Evil is actually immorality. It's wickedness. Wickedness. So greed. Greed is the desire to possess more than what you need. It can be wealth or power or whatever. The anger. Anger means, you know, annoyance towards a person, towards a situation, whatever. Delusion. See, delusion is a kind of belief which is not rooted in reality. That means it is contradictory to reality. It comes because of lack of rational thinking. So, you no need to write the meanings of all these words. You can select two or three words which you think uh, needs explanation. For example, anger does not need explanation. Ignorance may not need explanation. For the remaining words, you can just define them in the introduction and then you can start explaining what do you mean by it. You can in fact directly say, it means the following to me. You can write like this because in the question also, they ask you what do you mean by it. So you can say, it, for, it means the following to me. So in the meaning, you can just write three to four different aspects of the quotation. Don't try to write the meaning in one or two sentences because it may be wrong. You just try to explain different aspects of quotation. Try to write three to four meanings so that at least one or two of them may connect with the evaluator and you can fetch some good marks. So for example, I would say that see this quotation, the ignorant mind with its infinite infinite pains, strong emotions and immoralities is rooted that these feelings, these feelings are rooted in three poisons. What are those poisons? Desire and you know anger and then a belief that is again as the reality. So these are the three things, three poisons because of which we get the infinite pain or passions or evils in our mind. That is the meaning of the quotation. So you can say that, you can say that the cause, the cause for example, if this is a brain, you see, this is a brain. The cause, the anger, the greed and delusion are the causes for, causes for what? Causes for infinite passions, the immoralities, you know, infinite passions, immoral, what else? The pain, affliction, the pains. So this is, these are the cause and this is the byproduct of those things. So if you can break the cause, if you can stop the anger or greed or delusion to enter into your mind, obviously you can reduce the pain or passion or pain, passion or the evils, the immoralities, you can stop it. You can reduce it. That is the meaning. So you can write like that. In fact, you can draw a diagram also. See, you can draw it, some diagram. Some, for example, you can draw a tree. You can draw a tree having branches. You see a tree having branches, several branches, leaves. You can say that the trunk of the tree, trunk of the tree is greed, anger and delusion. And these three things, 
from the trunk of the tree you get millions of branches leaves and leaflets which are different types of wrong emotions wrong passions immoral thoughts wickedness cunningness so all these things come from the trunk of the tree so the only thing is you have to cut at the trunk of the tree so in that way you can explain or you can say river for example you see no one read all these things right any one thing one creative thing a river actually gets the water from several tributaries so these tributaries are basically anger greed and you know the desire so from I mean, anger greed and delusion so once you can remove the tributaries the sources the river water automatically dry up something like that some creative diagram you can draw if you want similarly you can also say this is another aspect as i told you you have to write different aspects of quotation don't write just one aspect so you can say all these things are interrelated that means the greed the anger the anger the delusion are interrelated for example delusion delusion means wrong thought for example we generally most of us live in a delusion that if we get lot of wealth lot of power automatically we will be happy that's a delusion we think that as you gain more material you will be more you will be happier with that delusion what we try to do we try to accumulate more wealth we try to accumulate more power so it is greed delusion is causing greed and as you are in the process of accumulating more wealth and more power in the process if you could not achieve something or if the people could not meet your expectations you will get anger on them so as situations or people are not according to your will you get anger on them like that delusion causes greed greed causes anger and again anger causes delusion it's like a vicious cycle so these are interrelated there's one aspect which you can write if you know as i told you if you know the name of the person you can say bodhi dharma not only bodhi dharma several bodhi sattvas try to tune their mind by cutting off anger greed and desire that's why these bodhi sattvas are successful in leading a peaceful and balanced life this is you know the first part of the question what do you mean by that second part of the question in the present context how it is important i would always suggest you to keep side headings with the same word given in the question in the question the word given is what is the importance in the present context you keep the same side heading you can see importance in the importance in the present context if you keep the side heading similar to the question evaluator can correct with it easily and he can it will be easy for him to evaluate the paper okay so friends uh, how it is relevant in the present days you can say because of delusion because of anger the delusion wrong thought that our religion is the greatest religion or our caste is the greatest caste or our race is the greatest trait with the delusion generally you get anger on other other religions other castes other races because of which racism you see racism communalism the violence society the mob violence the riots have society the genocide the ethnicide all these things in the present days are happening because of delusion and anger even psychological disorders are coming because of greed greed to achieve something to achieve something beyond what you can with their greed several youth are trying to trying to be successful in several fields and they, when they could not succeed there some of them are committing suicide suicides they are getting psychological disorders like anxiety stress whatever so in the present context this is the relevance of the quotation you can also say the greed greed is not for a single person but greed for a community greed for a nation so because of the overall greed of a nation what is happening they are going against environment deforestation or they want excessive development so they are not respecting the nature that's why environmental crisis is coming you can even give the example of uttarakhand floods you can say uttarakhand floods happened because the state of uttarakhand wanted excessive development against the nature of himalayan ecosystem so they disturbed the himalayan ecosystem in the name of laying roads for development hence the 2013 uttarakhand floods have occurred you can say that actually so even greed among the civil servants civil servants the greed to accumulate more more wealth they are you know going for corruption corruption even inequality in society is happening because few people who want to accumulate more wealth are exploiting the others and leading to inequality you can say that even the parents see the present education system he is looking only for the marks and grades not for what the student is actually learning 
so even the parents and students are greedy towards the mocks or grades so the overall system has to be has to be changed rehauled revamped so in that way i have given a few examples you no need to write the same examples you can write any example as i told you you can draw some creative diagrams you can draw a diagram like this the greed the anger the delusion they cause immorality wrong emotions passions you see the wickedness you know the pain all these things and because of these wrong passions again you get anger because of this wickedness again you'll go into delusion understand again go back into greed so it's like this kind of diagram they are interrelated these things cause this and because of this again you'll get this even in the brain in the mind also you can say the anger greed and delusion causes these things and these things again cause these things again these things cause so it's a vicious cycle you can try any kind of diagram finally friends conclusion in ethics questions i would suggest you to write a good conclusion a good conclusion will give one or two marks more particularly in ethics so you have identified the problem see friends never end the answer by identifying the problem always try to show some solution it's very important show some solution give suggestions you can say to solve this problem of present day's greed anger delusion we have to we have to we have to make some changes in the curriculum in the curriculum along with mathematics sciences you should also teach spiritualism spiritualism means friends it's beyond any religion every religion has got every noble book quran or you know bhagavad gita or bible has got spiritualism so you have to take the best out of all the religions and teach them to the students that will form real education where students can understand their mind understand their mind and you can write about some great philosophers for example buddha's the middle path or buddha's eightfold path or aristotle's golden mean the golden mean or you know marcus aurelius the great theory of rationality how rationality will remove the delusion from your mind so you can tell uh, any any few names and you can suggest that they should be read in the school days or in curriculum similarly in the present days as you see the prejudices are increasing because of movies and media actually the movies and media should remove the prejudices rather than increasing the prejudices because the social media and movies are having great influence on the young minds you can mention that and finally friends if you think that as as the exam is to become civil civil servant you can conclude by writing about civil servants you can say civil servants shall be trained well enough in controlling their anger their greed their delusion by periodic training this is a common statement i use in every ethics answer by pre periodic training you should train the civil servants to control these three things control these three things because if friends see civil servants their decisions their actions will affect a lot of people because they have huge responsibility hence they should be well trained in these things to stop these things otherwise if they take any decision in anger or if they take any decision with greed or delusion it will affect the entire nation so for a balanced and peaceful life we need all these things in that way we can conclude the answer so friends the question for tomorrow again general studies paper 1 as i told you i am going in a cycle gs 1 2 3 4 again 1 2 3 4 i will discuss ethic i will discuss essay after few days so this question is about the foreign travelers who came to india and because of whom we actually could understand the history of india history of india so 10 marks question write for 7 minutes write to 2 pages okay friends see you take care bye